Shalom Israel. Shalom. Back with another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakar Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And me and the brother Isaiah was able to get up today, and this is going to be a GMS in transit. And the name of this lesson is going to be on these prophecies will come to pass. You know, martial law, the race riots, the RFID chip, you know, which is the mark of the beast. You know, FEMA camps with the guillotine inside of them. You know, um, a famine of food and thirst. A famine of hearing these words. This King James Bible in 1611. And ultimately, you know, 200 ISBN missiles coming from Russia, China, Syria, North Korea, and so forth on. And the chariots of Israel with the laser beam of fire coming down from the bottom of it to destroy this place in America to the Chris. All these prophecies that I'm naming are going to come to pass. Can you get Isaiah 42 and then? I already got it. Okay, yeah, it's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Fine. This is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9. <laughs> Behold, the former things are come to pass. Yeah, the former things, you know, the the former prophecies that are written in the scripture, you know, like World War One, World War Two, you know. The flood. The, the, um, yeah, exactly. The earth being uh, destroyed by the flood pretty much, you know, by water. Mm -hmm. Are those those things have all come to pass? You know, us discontinue from our heritage, us going into slavery, yep. on cargo slave ships, you know, us falling under the curses. Those things have all come to pass. Go ahead. It reads on, and new things do I declare. Yeah, and how is he declaring those things by the prophets? You know, get Amos three and seven. God. The Lord, you know, let the scripture speak. You know, go ahead, get it. This is Amos chapter three, verse seven. Surely Yahweh by Shimei Awashai will do nothing, mm -hmm. but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophet. Exactly. Fuck you. So the servants, the the prophets that the Heavenly Father starting with apostles and elders, of the great millstone. You know they have the secrets, they have the mysteries of the new prophecies which the Lord is going to declare. You know. Mm -hmm. And where are some of those new prophecies? You know the RFID chip being the mark of the beast. You know. Mm -hmm. That's a new prophecy that has yet to come to pass. World War III, which we're speaking on. You know, America being destroyed by ICBM nuclear missiles. And before that, you know, there's going to be a famine. Race riots. Race riots, yep. Martial law. Yep. The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, is going to be um, implemented and made mandatory. World War III is going to pop off. And World War III is ultimately going to end by uh, America being destroyed. Yep, and the chariots of Israel was the one that caused UFOs with the laser beam of fire coming down from the bottom of it. Exactly. Go ahead. Read that from top. This is Isaiah chapter 42 verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, mm -hmm. and new things do I declare. Go ahead. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Yeah, before they spring forth, the Lord sent his prophet out there on the highways and byways week in and week out in my way of these videos to tell you of them. You know, starting with apostles and elders and their apostles before them, you know. But going back to the late 60s, you know, the Heavenly Father has been warning our people that America is going to be destroyed, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it, um, it said, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. You know, like the brother going into, yeah, I bought you my shot. He tells you these prophet, prophecies that's going to come to pass by the way of his prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, start with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone to the men on down. So we're going to get a preset real quick just showing you how Yahabah Shemasha always sends forth his, his prophets that prophesy and tell you what's going to happen before it happens. Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. Mm -hmm. The prophets that have been before me yep. and, and before thee of old yeah, the prophets that have been before us, you know, Jeremiah, you know, Ezekiel, Moses, Moses, Joseph, you know, Noah, you know, all these, all these were prophets and they prophesied me and they tell you something that was going to happen before it happened, you know, mm -hmm. go ahead. It says, 
It's lucky. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied. And that word prophesied means the day something before happens. Go ahead. Both against many countries. Yeah, and that meant, uh, you know, just like Noah, he prophesied against the, the wicked, the, the world before the flood. You know, Moses prophesied against Egypt, you mm -hmm. know. Go ahead. And it says, and against great kingdoms. Yeah, it's like, I wouldn't sure. I, uh, Moses prophesied against Jesus. I wouldn't sure if I said Noah like, Slavia. Yeah. Okay. But um, he said against many countries and great kingdoms. So mm -hmm. the modern day prophets, you know, which is us, are more prophets than elders. We're prophesying against America. You know, the Lord is against this place called America. The Lord is against all the wicked customs that go on in this place. All the false pagan idols getting worshipped before the Lord, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, so like, like you said, Yehabashi Marasha, who the word they call Ganji, so called black man, he's against this place called America. That's why we're prophesying against it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, everything that goes on here in America goes totally against the laws that's commandments of the Bible. You see, you got sodomy at an all time high, man with man, woman with woman. You got um, all these abominable foods being pushed to an all time high, such as shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You know, you got um, people marring their beards and making baldness upon, baldness upon their head. You mm -hmm. know, people um, defiling the temple by smoking weed, cigarettes, black and miles, and so forth on. You see, th th this place is so is wicked. So you have by Shema Shah, got his prophets out on the highways and byways and putting up videos, you know, the prophet side, the downfall and destruction of this wicked sinful kingdom called America. Yeah, because, yeah, go ahead and read the rest of that. Um, Against many countries. Where that started. It says, against great kingdoms, a war yeah so because of all the wickedness that this place promotes the lord has this prophesying against this place telling you that war is going to come you know and world war three is ultimately going to be that war that comes and it's going to um be the the war to destroy this place okay uh, fuck you. there you go so you know this place is ultimately going to be taken out in world war three mm -hmm. it reads on This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied against many countries mm -hmm. and great and against great kingdoms mm -hmm. of war and of evil. Yeah, and that word evil means bad times. So because of all the wickedness that America promotes, the Lord has his prophets out there on the highways and byways telling you the things that are going to happen to this place because mm -hmm. of the wickedness. It's the judgment. <laughs> It's the judgment of the Heavenly Father. So evil times, bad times is coming to America, you know? Mm -hmm. Such as, you know, the race riots, the martial law troops. And before the Heavenly Father does these things, he sends his prophets out to tell you of them. Kind, because it's a, of war and evil and the pestilence. Mm -hmm. You know, in the same, because the same way the prophets of old went out and they prophesied of war, evil, and pestilence is the same thing the men of the, um, the, the, men of the Lord are doing today. You know, they're doing the same thing as the um, prophets of old. They prophesy and they say what's going to happen before it happens. Mm -hmm. Can you get Numbers 23? Yeah. 19. Yeah, because the words of the Heavenly Father are going to come to pass, you know, which he's speaking through his men, you know? 19 to 23? 23 and 19. Okay. This is Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. The Most High is not a man that he shall lie. Yeah, the Most High sitteth upon his throne in the heavens, you know. He does. He has no reason to lie. The Lord is in the heavens, and he does whatsoever he pleases, mm -hmm. you know. Okay? It reads on. And he can't lie. He's the Most High, you know. He's, it says he's, um, he is, you know, he's, he's um, faithful and true. Everywhere the Most High is pure. So the Most High can't lie. Go ahead. It reads on. Neither the Son of Man. Yeah, neither the Son of Man, neither the, the, the only begotten Son. Go ahead. That he should repent. Mm-hmm, exactly. So the Most High has no reason to change his mind about things that he've ordained before the foundation of the earth, you know? Just because America don't, just because these um, Babylonians don't want America to be destroyed, don't mean it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Have he said, and he shall not do it? Have he said it and have he not done it? You know, 
the Lord said he was going to um, kill all the firstborn in Egypt. He did that. Mm -hmm. The Lord said he was going to flood the earth with water. He did that. You know, the Lord... Sodom and Gomorrah? Say, yeah, the Lord told um save Lot of Sodom and Gomorrah. And then afterwards, the story of fire and brimstone. Because he said he was going to go down and destroy this place. And he did that. Everything the Lord is a man of his word, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay? It reads on. Or have he spoken... And he shall not make make it good. Yeah, have you smoked? Get Amos since we're back in Amos. Get Amos I three. Get real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, right. get your precept. Go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Then after that, get Amos three and six. Malachi three and six. Amos three and six. Okay. This is oh, I got one. This is Malachi three and six. Mm -hmm. For I am Yahweh Bashim Shai. I change not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the Lord doesn't change. You know. So there's no. The, the Heavenly Father does not change, you know. So if he was a man of his word back then, he's going to be as a man of his word today. Mm -hmm. Today's age of time. Go ahead. It reads on. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Yeah, because we have faith in these scriptures. You know, we have faith that the Heavenly Father is going to be a man of his word. And we have that hope, you know. Mm -hmm. And we have belief that this stuff is going to happen. We fully believe, you know, that the America is going to be destroyed in our lifetime, you know. Though we tarry, we're waiting for. You got the Amos yep. 3 and 6. This is Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Mm -hmm. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Yeah, and we're blowing the trumpet now and you people are supposed to be afraid. Go ahead. It reads on. Shall there be evil in the city and you have by Shema Shah have not done it? Yeah, um, actually keep on now. Read verse 8. Okay. Read all the way down. Just skip to verse 8. It says, that Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? So we're telling that the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, is bringing these things, you know, and the Lord is not a man that he should lie. So he sent his prophets out early to tell you that there's going to be evil in the city, that bad times has come to America, and that the Lord is doing this thing, you know? This is Amos chapter 3, verse 8. The lion have roared. Yeah. Who will not fear? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shema Shai has spoken. Who can but prophesy? Yeah. Prophesy. Like yeah, exactly. The Lord has spoken. Who can yet prophesy? Because the words that the Heavenly Father has set up for His prophets to speak are words of prophecy, you know? Mm -hmm. Of things that are going to happen before they happen. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. Mm -hmm. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. Yeah, and the word is going forth. By way of the prophets, the, the Lord set up, you know, the men of Great Millstone, you know? Mm -hmm. Primarily the men of Great Millstone, you know? I got a precept real quick. It said, therefore, uh, so shall these words go forth out of my mouth, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how these words are going forth. This is St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And this is written in red. This is who the word they call Jesus speaking, who real name is Yahweh Shah. yeah. He that hear of you, hear of me. Yes, yeah, so is the Lord speaking... So he's saying, if you hear, um, if you're hearing the prophets out there on the highways and byways prophesying, telling you that things that are gonna happen before they happen, you're hearing Lord Yahweh shy. Go mm -hmm. ahead. And he that despises you despises me. But if you despise the correction that we're bringing out there on the highways and byways, telling telling you to get right, telling you that America is gonna be destroyed, you're really despising the Heavenly Father. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're despising the Lord yeah, Yahweh shy. Go ahead. And he that despises me despises him that sent me. Yes, because these aren't our words. These are the words of the Heavenly Father, you know. So we're speaking the words of the Heavenly Father. The, the Heavenly Father, you know, is only dealing with the only begotten Son. Mm -hmm. So he gave his words to his only begotten Son, and the only begotten Son gave it to the elect. The Lord's the one will be a part of that, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Back in Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It shall not return unto me void. Yeah, so the true prophets of the Heavenly Father, the words that they speak are going to come to pass. Point mm -hmm. blank, serious. It's not going to return unto him void. The Lord has set up his men to per... It's, if we read Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord God would do nothing. So the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, is not going to come down and warn you people. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord has said that prophets to warn his people, you know, and to tell you the future, you know? And, and that word void means empty. So these words are not going to come back empty Because like the brother said Everything that's written inside this King James Bible You know, the all far detail Which is the mark of the beast You know, the race rise You know, a famine of food and thirst You know, a famine of hearing these words You know, and so forth on 
none of these none of these prophecies are going to come back empty because they're going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. They're going to accomplish. Oh, well, it's going to say yep. it. Go ahead. But it should accomplish that which I please. Yeah, so it's going to accomplish everything. So the Lord said, you know, this is going to happen. That's what's going to happen. It's mm -hmm. that simple. Go ahead. And it said what he pleases, you know. It pleases the Heavenly Father for these things to be done. Go That's ahead. right. And it shall prosper in the thing which I send him. It. It's gonna prosper. I mean, it's Man. it's gonna prosper. You know, bro. Know what the word prosper means? Succeed. Yeah, succeed. There you go, Dwight, bro. This is Isaiah chapter thirty-four, verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh Bashmi Shah and read. Yeah, so the scripture is talking about seeking uh, the book of the Lord and read. Meaning, you gotta get, you have to get people to teach you this book. You know. The, the proper understanding when it says and read meaning get the correct understanding of what you're reading you know mm -hmm. you know because you have a lot of false prophets that are telling that peace is coming that you know safety is coming to america but that's a lot you know you but the heavenly father has given you the true prophets his true men the lord star one apostle that was a great most of once again you know giving you the correct breakdowns you know yeah giving you correct understanding go ahead it says no one of these shall fail. Yeah, no one of these prophecies shall fail that's, that are spoken by the true prophets, mm -hmm. you know? Meaning the Heavenly Father has ordained this prophet from the foundation of the earth, and he's going to speak the words of the Most High. And they're going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. And those words will come to pass. Go ahead. It reads on. None shall want her mate. Mm -hmm. Meaning you can't mix this book with any other book. That's why I primarily... We, we we bring up the scriptures week in and week out, you know. We might have a Zonders Bible Compact Dictionary, or we might have Babylon the Ten Book too, you know. But those are just history books that link up right with the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But we're not mixing the Bible with the Quran, you know. We don't got the Bible and the Quran open, see. Because those books contradict each other. The Bible stands alone, you know. Yep. Go ahead. It reads on. For my mouth it have commanded in his spirit it has gathered them you know and the spirit which is this this word this king james bible the 1611 this is this this word is what gathered the brothers is around the four corners of the earth right now as we speak pushing this word in truth and sincerity mm -hmm. you see this wasn't of our own our own will you see this was of your high shah so the spirit of the bible is what gathered the men once again that you see around the four corners of the earth you know and putting up videos pushing this word to the best of our ability yeah, and that's another prophecy that's come to pass. It's, that is coming to pass before our eyes, you know? That that proves that the words of the Heavenly Father is not going to go avoid. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, you got any more precepts? Yeah. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Mm hmm. For what if some did not believe? You know? What if some did not believe? You know, we know these um heathen nations, you know, starting with Esau, on down to um Ishmael, to um Moab and Ammon, to um so-called white man. Yeah, kind. Esau the so-called white man, Ishmael the so-called musty Arabs, Ham the so-called duty and Africans, you know, Moab and Ammon so-called Chinese and Japanese, you know, and Elon the so-called Dais Indians. We know these heathen nations not gonna believe, but what if two thirty so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans didn't believe at what the men of the Lord, the Ahabashima Shah set up to tell you what's gonna happen? What if you didn't believe what we were saying? It reads on. Should their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Right. Is your unbelief of not believing in this word, you know, this King James Bible, the 1611, is your unbelief of not believing in these prophecies, you know? Is, is, is that gonna make the most high without effect? Meaning, are these prophecies not gonna come to pass because you don't believe? Is is Yahweh Shemasha gonna stop the off ID chip from coming? Is Yahweh Shemasha gonna stop you know a famine of food and thirst from coming here to America? Is Yahweh Shemasha gonna stop you know a race riot you know or, or two hundred ICB missiles coming from Russia, China, and Syria, North Korea, and so forth? On? Is he gonna stop all this stuff from happening because two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos? And Native Americans don't believe. We're gonna read on. It says, verse four, the most I forbid, meaning hell no, meaning the show must go on. Two thirty so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you don't have to believe. These parts are gonna to come to pass whether you like it or not. It says, Salakia, let the most high be true 
and every man a liar. Right, let the most high be true. Yahweh Bashim Ashah. You know, because um, according to um Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testament of this King James Bible, if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them, meaning no truth in them. So we're going to let Yahweh Bashim Ashah be true. Because if two-thirds ain't coming, thus said the Lord, this said the Holy Bible, there is no truth in you. It reads on. As it is written, that thou mightest, not mightest be justified in thy saying, and mightest overcome when they are judged. And we are on justified in our sayings, because we come in, thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Bible. Everything we speak is coming correct, because we come in, in the name of Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. And I did have one more, but it's an apocrypha. But you got your apocrypha real quick? Mm -mm. It's all good then. Well, with that, I hope you've been edified. It's been another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakar Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We're teaching us this truth according to the Bible and a double shall warm to all the sincere occupants throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. Shalom. Shalom.